This tutorial will show you how to use video physics. You should have taken your video in the camera app on your iPad, not from within video physics. I'm in the camera roll right now. When you take your video, make sure you have something uh, of known distance, like a meter stick that's clearly in your video, and make sure you are parallel and not at an angle with the motion of the object. The first thing you have to do is you have to trim the video to the very beginning. And so there's a, a beginning of this video where there, you can't see my object at all. And you aren't going to have a doom buggy, but you want to trim it to the point where the object is just about to start to move. So if you just went a little bit further, like one frame more, it would start moving here. Um, so this is moving the whole time, so it doesn't really matter for me, but you want to trim it as close as you can to the very beginning of the motion. And then you're going to hit done, and it'll save it as a new clip. So once you save it as a new clip, then you're going to exit out and open up video physics. You're going to hit the plus sign right here, choose existing video, go into um, your camera roll and find the, the clip you trimmed, and then hit use, and it'll compress the video. All right, and once you're done compressing the video, it's uh, going to look like this. You want to click the origin scale in the top um, middle right there. And the first thing you want to do is you want to drag this little bar so that it lines up perfectly with whatever thing you know the length of. In this case, we have a meter stick. And then up here, you're going to type however long that thing is. Well, it's one meter, so we don't really have to type anything. And then here is your origin. And so you want to put the origin wherever the object is at the very beginning. Choose a spot on the object you can easily see and that isn't too blurry, so I'm going to use the front end of this piece of tape I put on there. And then you're also going to rotate your axes so that um, either the X or the Y, whatever makes more sense, is parallel with the motion of the object. So my doom buggy is going left and right, so I'm just going to leave the X there. But if it was going on an angle, I would make it so the X axis was parallel with the direction that the doom buggy was going. And then I'm going to click points at the top. And we're going to drag our little uh, point placer over here. And you can make this bigger or smaller. All this is is a guide to help you. But I'm going to choose the front end. And all I'm going to do is tap inside that circle. And I tapped once and a dot appeared. That's where the doom buggy was during that frame. So then now the doom buggy is moving. So every time all I do is tap in the middle. And the doom, and it advances one frame automatically. And all I'm doing is telling the app where the doom buggy is. You can actually skip frames if you need to. So I skipped a few frames forward here, um, and that's okay. It'll it'll compensate for that. So once you've done that for the whole motion, you can even play it back if you want. Um, you're gonna go to export in the top right. You're gonna click click data file, open in, and you're gonna find graphical in this list. It may be graphical GW or just graphical. So it's gonna open up in graphical. Then you're gonna click experiments in the top left. And you're gonna do a long press here on the name. And then you're going to name it with something that makes sense. So maybe it's unit one, and maybe you're doing the speedier lab or something like that. Whoops. So unit one, speedier lab. Oh, it's already taken two. There we go. So then you're going to click on this. And there's a few housekeeping things you need to do. You're going to click on the y-axis. And since it was only moving the x-direction, we want to turn off the y. So select the y to, to take that off. And then same thing here, we only want X velocity. The other thing we want to do is we want to stop it connecting the dots. So you're going to click on that little icon, Graph Options, Appearance, Points. And then it'll show us just the individual points. And this is a much better way to analyze data than with a bunch of connected dots. You'll see here, this is where I skipped a few frames, so that it just shows up as a whole. And so now at this point, we can analyze the data. If you just want to see one graph, you can see this. You can still do everything like you would before with um, uh, fitting curves or fitting lines to it and all that stuff.